so also my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart greetings to you in the precious name of our lord jesus christ <clears throat> welcome to the 18th day of a journey from wilderness to calvary there's a beautiful story said about a priest who was frequently going for confession and making his confession to the priest elderly priest to his spiritual director and whenever he went for confession he came back and after a week he was falling into the same sin and again running to the confession one day the priest felt so bad that he was repeating the same sin again and again then he decided very strongly in his mind saying if i continue this sin and fall into the same sin next time i will end my life saying so this priest after a week again he fell into the same sin he decided to kill himself by jumping into a river but but, but before that he thought let me visit my spiritual director and express my wish to him and as he went to the spiritual director he poured out before the spiritual director saying father this is my problem that whenever i come and confess the same sin and god forgives me and i go back and repeat it is like i am like a pot you know god is pouring grace upon grace whenever i go for confession but then as a pot i have a hole a weakness which is draining of all the graces of god therefore i decided to end my life i don't want to cheat on god i don't want to offend my god by my sins how how many times can god forgive the spiritual director who patiently listened to him and told him this my dear son my dear father you feel that you are like a pot and god is pouring grace in that pot and you have a small hole in the pot your weakness but you are a small pot but god is a mighty ocean which covers this pot where no grace of god will be lost god's grace surrounds the whole of you my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus no matter how often we sin no matter how many times we fall god is merciful until and unless we get up and go back to god well my dear brothers and sisters in today's gospel we find peter coming and asking jesus lord how many times should i forgive you know what was the reason for peter to ask this question maybe peter had a person who was hurting him hurting him constantly maybe a person who was offending him always therefore maybe maybe peter thought seeing jesus who was so merciful he thought to himself like lord jesus is it enough that i forgive a person seven times and jesus says not seven times 70 times 7 it's not meaning jesus does not mean that you need to count 70 times 7 and then afterwards you offend the person what jesus means is like innumerable times when jesus said this it also meant that jesus was reflecting the mercy of god just as god the father who is merciful who forgives us again and again again and again innumerable times without count so also jesus was telling the same thing to peter peter god who is merciful to you god who is merciful and forgiving all your sins again and again so should you be in forgiving your brother easily said then done maybe your thought and my thought especially with regarding forgiveness and the brothers and sisters but well jesus gives us a beautiful example if you remember this example and i think it's easy for all of us to forgive jesus gives us a story about a king 
who was a servant and this servant had to pay huge debt to the king and when he is unable to pay the debt he goes and falls at the feet of the king asking for or asking to clear off all the debt or to excuse him otherwise his family his wife his property everything should be would have been confiscated by the king but when he falls onto the knees uh, onto the feet of the king the king forgives my dear brothers and sisters it was costing his life in a way the debt of the servant was costing all of his life but this same servant who goes and his co-servant asks for him to forgive a little debt of his he punishes him he pulls him down and he demeans that person looking at this the king gets angry saying i have waived off all your debt which was much more than you could bear but could you not forgive or waive off the little debt of your co-servant if so my god the father will also do to all those people who do that if you forgive abundantly you will be forgiven abundantly if you do not forgive and you will not be you will not receive forgiveness from my father says jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters this is a beautiful story reflected to all of us in the book of genesis chapter 33 32 and 33 there we read the story of jacob and esau jacob who goes away cheating his own brother stealing the first blessing blessing from his uh, brother he goes and works with his uncle father in law and then he comes back after a lot of humiliation from his father in law as he was coming back to his home he wants to meet his brother but then there was a fear which was running in him there was a fear which engripped him thinking what would my brother do to me and therefore with lot of fear with lot of hesitant he sends the flock front servants and then later on he is in the last so that he could escape his death but when esau meets his brother jacob you know esau hugs him and welcomes him forgiving him and that's where we hear jacob telling book of genesis chapter 33 verses 10 for to see your face is like to seeing the face of god that you have now received me favorably well my dear brothers and sisters this jacob who was with full of fear with lot of tension in him who couldn't face his brother but once his brother accepted him forgiven him he was happy there was a glow in his face he was freed and that's why jesus says forgive not seven times 70 times 7 my dear brothers and sisters when we are forgiving we are giving we are giving freedom to the person out of fear out of in out of shame out of guilt and that's why jesus says forgive forgive and forget and he says not only forgive it should be from the heart because mind counts but heart forgives therefore as we are in the season of lent my dear brothers and sisters let's just acknowledge our life there are as we are as you're listening to this maybe surely you would you would be telling yourself you know this is a person who is haunting me in my mind is there his picture is there i could remember the wounds that he has created in me so many things run in our heads but much more than that person we lose the grace because we are carrying the burden in our head we are carrying that burden in our heart and thus we lose grace that's why before performing a miracle jesus said your sins are forgiven your sins are forgiven because once one is freed from forgiveness from the sin the healing flows therefore my dear brothers and sisters in order to receive forgiveness from god we need to forgive others we need to free others in order to be freed from god therefore let's take 
a small moment for ourselves steal a moment and call a person whom you are angry with who has wounded you and say a hello or send a whatsapp message a good morning message or if you find a time try to greet him and find occasions to reconcile with the person only then god will reconcile with you during the season of lent if you like this small piece of reflection kindly share like and don't forget to contribute your small gesture of contribution to our brother vijay for the promotion of this liturgy tv god bless you have a wonderful day